College is the greatest illusion on earth. If anyone wants to know what an illusion is, just go look at a college campus. Are you kidding me? Everyone thinks, hey, you gotta go to college, you have to go to college, it's a mitzvah, you have to do your hishtalut, you have to go. Has shalom. God forbid. Why God forbid? I'm not talking about making a parnasa. And if you want to learn an education to make a parnasa in the permissible way, in a mutar way, perfect. But to go to a place where not only I've been there for two years, I know what happens in a CUNY. I was in Baruch, I know exactly what happens in a CUNY. I'm going back many years ago. I'm sure it's a lot better than it is today, Baruch Hashem. Guys have come back and they said, Rabbi, whatever you said about college, you should know. It's a lot worse. You made it sound good. And they came back and like, Rabbi, we didn't believe you. We thought, yeah. we thought you're joking. We thought you're kidding. Rabbi, we didn't believe. Rabbi, we, we, you, you didn't do any justice speaking bad about it. It's a lot worse than what you made it sound, Rabbi. It's a lot worse. And what the guys have told me, what they have to write a college paper about, you have to take their philosophy garbage classes. The parents say, no, I want me something to learn. You want them to learn, I understand. You want them to become something uh, uh, in business, I understand. But why in the world are you throwing down his neshama down the drain? Why in the world do you want to throw this beautiful neshama that he has into the pits? You know what's going to happen? I, I tell the parents, go one day to college. For, forget for years. You walk onto a campus for one day. You sit next to Shaniqua. You sit next to Baticha. You see what they have to say. You, you hear the, the jargon. And not tell me... That that's where you want your son to be for four years. You want him to come out Jewish? You want him to marry a Jewish girl? You want him to, you want him to, uh, you want him to have fire for Hashem? You want him to have fire for the Torah? Fire for the mitzvot? Or you want him to get cooled off? What do you think they're going to teach him over there? What do you think they're going to promote over there? The Torah? The mitzvot? They're going to promote all the garbage. Philosophy classes that a boy that he told me what he had to write a paper about. It's asur to get anything more than an F- minus on that paper. Anything more than an F minus is kfira. How in the world do you want your son to write a paper in that class? You send him to this co ed place where in the winter time they're not sanua. In the winter time they're not dressed modestly. In the winter time, go see where he's sitting. What do you think is going to happen to him? So you're right, you have to do your hishtalut. That's what Hashem wants. That, 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 oh, I have a piece of paper. Now I'm stamped approved. I can make parnasa. Some kofir gave you a piece of paper and now you stamp the proof. You We have Hashem. He supported the entire Jewish nation for 40 years in a desert without any water. And you think Hashem needs your help to get this piece of paper from some rasha that's going to hand it over to you. Oh, now, now you can make parnas. How does that make sense? How, how does that make sense to you? Every guy you show me that made Parnasa from a college degree, I'll show you two that didn't make Parnasa that way. They have that degree and they're not making it. You think it's the piece of paper? And guys, let's be honest, in high school you did almost nothing. You weren't studious. So all of a sudden, what makes you think you'd be studious for another four years? So you, you, you won high school out. You got someone to take your test, man. Now you get it. What are you doing in college? Oh, th th that's the last thing you need. If you want to be successful in life, you want to go and make a parnasa, al kefi, al rasi, for sure, mutar, a to make a parnasa. But to do it within the parameters of our Torah, to do it with Hashem on your side, not going with a bunch of reshaim and going with a bunch uh, of people that are going to move someone away from Abu Dhat Hashem. That's what you're doing. How does that make sense?